Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here today, and uh, today's video, I want to talk to you about hair loss. Uh, one of the most common and frustrating complaints that I hear from women when it comes to hypothyroidism is hair loss, and millions of people with hypothyroidism experience hair loss, and this can really have a terrible impact on, on not only self-confidence, but your, your self-esteem. Uh, frequently, having the person take synthetic or, or even natural thyroid hormone can often help correct the thyroid hormone imbalance, which will usually help with the thyroid hair loss. However, this isn't always the case, and uh, there can be many other causes of hair loss in people with hypothyroidism. Whatever the cause may be with, uh, as it relates to thyroid hair loss in, in the person with hypothyroidism, the ideal goal really should be to correct the underlying cause of the thyroid imbalance. And while some people with hypothyroidism do need to take synthetic or even natural thyroid hormones on, on a permanent basis, others can have their, their health restored, regain their hair, have more energy, sleep better, lose weight through a natural restorative thyroid approach. And when the true cause of your thyroid disorder is addressed, the thyroid hair, the thyroid hair loss problem many times will be corrected. So, while hair loss is often the result of, of a thyroid disorder, there are other potential causes of hair loss that really need to be investigated. And we're gonna be talking about those in this video. One area of significant importance uh, is an imbalance in your body's sex hormones. You know, a very common problem that I see in men and women is the imbalance in these hormones that, uh, you know, namely estrogen and progesterone, testosterone, but also something called cortisol and DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Estrogen dominance, for example, can also lead to hair loss in people with hypothyroidism. So can elevated levels of cortisol, and so can the increased or elevated levels of DHT, okay? Now, the problem is that many endocrinologists fail to evaluate the estrogen, uh, to evaluate this part of the body, or fail to look at the body from a holistic perspective, and so they often don't do these tests. And so, you know, in order to properly evaluate someone for, for hair loss, not only do you have to look at the thyroid, but you also have to look at estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, you have to look at DHT, and you have to look at the cortisol levels on every single patient that comes in with hair loss. And those that do usually will only perform, uh, those endocrinologists, that, that is, those endocrinologists that do perform uh, tests on hormones um, typically only test for, for maybe do a, what's called a one sample test. And although that might be sufficient for menopausal women, it's definitely not adequate for cycling women, women who have a, you know, an ongoing menstrual cycle. For cycling women, their hormones are in a constant state of fluctuation, which is why a one sample test isn't sufficient to determine whether they have estrogen dominance. And this is really why I recommend a comprehensive cycling female hormone panel uh, test, not only for cortisol and DHEA, DHEA but also for DHT. Uh, but also, uh, well, the nice thing about this test is that it's gonna give us a nice graph um, showing us the, the, uh, the output of estrogen and progesterone really every three days of a, of a woman's cycle. And so when someone with hypothyroidism has hair loss due to estrogen dominance, putting that person on a specific natural thyroid restorative protocol can really help correct this condition and really turn that person's life around. There really are other possible causes of hair loss in people with hypothyroidism, such as medications, things like antidepressants, things like oral contraceptives, birth control pills, for example, um, as well as nutritional deficiencies. Some people with a zinc deficiency will experience hair loss. People that are under chronic stress can also uh, lead to hair loss. And, and of course, many people deal with chronic stress on a regular basis. So in these cases, correcting the cause of the problem will usually help with the hair loss. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Hope this short video helped you understand a little bit about uh, some of the other factors that uh, surround hair loss, how important it is to look at all of the hormones, how it, important it is to have proper testing, and also how uh, it is possible to restore hair loss through natural restorative measures. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and again, if you like this video, please go ahead and share this with someone who might be struggling with hair loss or uh, some other aspect or some other type of symptom as it relates to their thyroid gland. Take care.